G'day guys, how's it going? Yeah, so anyway, I've been informed that some of your goobers don't know how to forge your maps out of bounds. So, I'm on a real quick go through how to do that for years. So, first up, we're going to want assembly installed, which I've got right here in my downloads. You double click open it, and while that's going, we're going to boot our Halo Master Chief collection. Get to that and show you. With EAC disabled, easy as that. I don't know how to do it for the Microsoft Store, so you just got to figure it out yourselves. God damn goobers pulling it off the Microsoft Store. But anyway, go into assembly, hit your map names thingo, go to Halo Reach, and this is all your file names to your map names. But we're going to be doing Forge World, which we already know what that one's called. We go to our Master Chief Collection folder, which is in your Steam somewhere. Go to Halo Reach, your Maps folder, and then you find Forge Halo dot Map. Easy as. And before we do that, we actually want to close that and go back, and we're going to create a copy of this map file real quick. And this is backing it up because we've got to save some stuff so it can work properly. So now we open this one, just Forge Halo, and we leave the copy there for later. And we're going to type in SCNR, the scenario tag. This stores all the map, whatever you columns, all your map stuff. And all we want to do is just go into the second BSP, which is the background one, like all the mountains and junk. Go in here and untick these three bad boys. That's pretty much all you're going to do, but since while we're here, let's also turn off all the kill boundaries and junk. So if we just type in trigger up here and we navigate down to the scenario kill triggers, we're going to hit this little eye here, zero that out, no kill triggers, zero this one out, no save triggers, zero this one out, know whatever the hell those are and then we're going to go to the SDDT our structure design and then we're going to zero these things yet and then this one so we don't got any soft ceilings and whatnot we're going to save this one and then we're going to go back and save this one and if you didn't create a backup like I said before, then you're silly and you've got to verify your good damn files off of Steam. Good luck with that one. But now we've got our Halo open. We're going to go in a forge. And we're going to pick our forge map, which we made as Forge World. Pick forge game mode. And we're going to hit start. Easy as. Oh, I can't be bothered skipping this or cutting this footage so you can load in with me. Alright, yeah, there we go. So now if we grab our handy controller and go down to one of these big rocks and go down and fling us around, should be able to just fly clean out of the map. And keep going. Yeah, right, there we go. It's looking good. As much fur as you can usually bring yourself. Brilliant. And we're going to go down the walls and we're going to slap down one of these big thingos. And we're going to put some spawn points down here. And I forgot to delete the other spawn points back at spawn, so I'm probably going to have to go and get all those. Actually, can we just hit that with the. No, right on. Easy stuff. And here's your out of map map. So let's save that as. Out of map map. Easy. Easy done. We're going to end our game. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into assembly. We're going to close this thing out. Eh? And since this remembered where the hell we just were, because I certainly don't, we're just going to hit delete on this thing, eh? And we're going to get our good old backup file. Easy, done. And then we can just close out of that. 
We can go into Steam, hit Stop, and we can boot it up with EAC on. It's pretty much as simple as that. Just make sure that whenever you're saving the map, you do it with EAC off. And with your map file poked, or else it's going to squish all your junk into the goddamn corner of the maps. Because it doesn't like when you save over those. But anyway, now yeah, we've got like three minutes of loading to do to get back in there with EAC on. Let's get this. If we can find the map we just saved. That's in like... Oh, I forgot what I even called it. Oh, there we go. Out of map, map. Can't miss that. Brilliant. And there we heckin' go, what's this looking thing? God damn, got our challenges up there. Actually, no we don't. That's weird. I was gonna say, have our challenges up there, so we know it's EAC on. But we just died from the barrier, so we know there's the vanilla map, I suppose. But anyway, that's our map out of bounds. And now I'm gonna demonstrate what the hell happens when you save it. I'm pretty sure restarting round doesn't squish stuff into the corner. I mean, have a look real quick. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So if we load out that and go back in, it'll squish our junk back into the corner because we just saved with EAC on and we didn't have our special map loaded. So it's going to poop itself. No, I'm pretty sure we have our good thing, eh? EAC is on, I swear. Just the challenges aren't. Can we just go back and real out of map map? There it is. Some more brilliant loading footage for you. And there we go, our goddamn stuff is squishing in this stupid mountain over here because we saved over the map with EAC on. There you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'll probably write some more junk in the description that I forgot to cover, but there you go, fellas.